All right, folks. Well, it's Mu Magencon, Mu Magicon, and uh, it's our last day. That's that prisoner Javert was looking for, right? That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Running someone run amok with a piece of bread or something. Mu Javon. Mu Javon. Hey, friends, can you hear us? I wanted. See if you can. Uh, hey, yay! Happy Mumacon says Apu. Oh, Mumacon seems simple. Yeah, that does. What are we gonna Pokemon those? Oh, I wonder. Let's ponder that. Cow. Cow. Yeah, cow Pokemon. It's gotta be a cow. Uh, yeah. Friends, give me, give me the high sign. Cow. Yes, you can hear. Do you Still hear like music cow. as well? Because uh, I don't hear the music, and so that that worries me. And uh, so I'm gonna turn it off. No, but Apu can hear us. That's cool. Yeah, that's you know that's really all that matters. Is what it's all about. Um, let me here. let me do this. You know what? I would do a hundred of these shows just for a poop. Oh, hey, you're live. No video, just audio, but it's clear. Yes, excellent. Yes, you hear music. Well, I've turned yeah, I've turned that music off, and uh, I'm also going to turn off this modesty shield because what do we got to hide? What do we have to hide? Just the bodies. Certainly not, certainly not these two handsome gentlemen. We have one, Alex Thomas. You might know him as the line lead for Mutants and Masterminds. Now, listen, that's a tabletop role-playing game. Oh, it is. Where you uh, act as a hero mm -hmm. and, and sometimes a villain in adventures, uh, really taking place across time and space. Mm -hmm. And uh, in addition to that, we have another handsome gentleman. RC is here. Now, R.C. is from the long-running podcast, Five Years, right? Five uh, years. Coming up on five years. We've coming up on five working years. Working on it for five years, released almost five years. Awesome. So we'll round up. Five years. Five and years. Um, R.C., years. Uh, Masks and Mayhem, you've been doing that for uh, 17 years now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been working on characters that are involved in it. I would say even 17 doesn't seem right. When did first edition come out? Uh, 20, 2000. 2000. Yeah. Maybe 2002. Okay, I might not have gotten into a little ways in until 2005. Well. So anyway, let's lot. not get a lost lot. in the sauce. You've been uh, uh, actively engaged in um, Moo Memory. Yeah, Moo Memory. Uh, making Moo Memories. Memories. Sort of memories. Memories. <laughs> For years. Not and I, of course, am your disembodied Troy. I am disembodied at this point. Uh, I will say that there was a plan to unveil a certain um, squatch of a condiment-like nature. But uh, it is hotter than the hinges of Hades. Yeah. And the real problem is Troy only brought four skin suits and he wore them all out. I did, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they wouldn't come and launder the skin suits. It was a real. They actually refused. Yeah, there was a whole fight with the with, with the concierge. Yeah, and the yeah. concierge. Yeah. Guess who's not going to get a, gr a shoe full of gravy? Not me. Well, you've not been a good boy. boy. <laughs> you're getting two so shoes. This year. <laughs> uh, you know, it also so happens that you're not any. As a crew, um, the three of us have been roomies here at yeah. Gen Con, mm -hmm. uh, which is how you say it in France. Gen Con. Gen Con. And it's been a blast. It's been so much fun. All right. Uh, so I want to hear a little bit about, well, we'll get to some questions from chat, but I want to hear a bit about how things went um, for the show and yeah. to talk about your games that you played. RC, I want to hear that as well. Like you've been you've been doing the thing as well, yeah. running all over the place, actually participating in some of Alex's games. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. Yeah, we um, so I ran six games total here at the convention, four on the books and two that were sort of semi-private. Um, I ran stuff. I had I had one of the absolute best M and M games of all time yesterday. Um, it was my Titan City game I ran yesterday morning, and it was the magic. It was the stuff GM dreams are made of. The players were all engaged with the material. They loved their characters. We almost ran out of time because it was getting up to be 1245. And I was like, well, I can yada yada the ending if you all need to leave at one. And they said, you better not. <laughs> Don't you dare. So we played an extra hour. And it was, um, yeah, everybody was great. How fun. How fun. Yeah. I was hanging out in the room. Like, I wasn't in that game, but I got to listen in. Everyone was having a great time. And Alex was in perfect form. Yeah, right it was on. like the spirit of Steve Kenson moved through me. Because I yeah. thought it was going to be bad because I was exhausted. <laughs> Yeah, you know, uh, while Steve isn't here, um, we do have uh, on the table one of Steve's books. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll show it on camera here in just a moment. Yeah, my, icons. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, in my uh, incorporeal form, um, I'm just getting it all moist. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to, hard to get a grip on the Absolutely. reality. Hey, Jonesy. Hey, Jonesy. Hey, hey Jonesy. Yeah. Do you have any Steve's book? But yeah, um, 
I got to play in a fun game as Captain Colt, which is really good. There you go. See it float on by. Um, yeah, so if you're at the show, watching the show, about the show, mm -hmm. uh, feel free to stop by booth 801 and mm -hmm. uh, get a good deal on it. Actually, you know, it's like 20% off, full lines, all kinds of great stuff. Mm -hmm. Check it out. But Steve's book is here as well. And your book is here as well. It is, but I didn't bring it down to the booth. You I'm silly. humdinger. But um, I've got copies if you want to meet up with me at the hotel. That's right. That's right. And he'll even sign it. Yeah, but Awesome. All right. So you had an awesome game. Yeah. One of the best. You really enjoyed it. Everyone was really engaged. Now that was the S Magic Kids? Yes, the Magic Kids. So oh. they're um, in Titan City. There is a school for magic using and monstrous children to learn how to use their powers and to, to basically have a society of their own away from sort of judgmental 1930s. A Magic people. Claremont Academy of sorts. Yes. Yep. The. Uh, <laughs> Isabella Thorne's school for gifted students. It's called the Silverthorne Academy. But it was a bunch of great characters who all, everybody really glomped onto their characters. And the guy playing the, the sort of goth Edgelord kid, he was amazing. Was he? Did, did he was he? so, he was such a little shit. <laughs> so good. I love that. I love that. Um, also, I want to say real quick, hey, Warden Maximus, I see you there. Hey, Warden uh, Maximus. Hi to you. And of course, Arnon says. Hi, Arnon. Uh, uh, how to do D and um, our a pook. So if you're there, you're hanging out in chat, just to say hey hi, so we can say hey hi to you. Hey hi to you. Um, hey. And also, if you happen to be at Gen Con, um, say something. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see something. Yeah. If you're walking around though, maybe like you know, put your phone down. Or... <laughs> <laughs> if you are walking around, a little PSA: don't meander diagonally. I don't like that. Yeah. Well, I don't like it. I don't like it either. Yeah, it's a real pain in the butt. That's the problem. I love doing it. Yes, that's right. We call it, that's why we call you Old Meander Pants. Um, well, so in addition to great games, you, know, you you played in a couple of Alex's games. Was it yeah. Solar? Oh, yeah. So yeah. we got to be, uh, we did a player versus player game where it was Marvel versus DC. Alex and I got to partner up as, uh, we got to partner up as Captain Cold and Heat Wave, Captain Cold and Heat Wave. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. You know, it was interesting because they kept they moved us to different tables, so at certain points we got separated. Yeah, um, and that was then, very scary for me. <laughs> and uh, my emotional support RC. Emotional support RC. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on my. Uh, my I used card. to have an RC card that did that, but he's much better than that. Uh, we got to do a Superman game where it was different paragons of the Superman archetype. So uh, I got to play as Buffy Summers from. Uh, Buffy Summers from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but there was also Invincible, Samwise Gamgee, uh, Superman, Crypto, uh, nice. fighting again multiversal forces. You and got to stick vampire, uh, vampires on the moon. Got to stick vampires on the moon. Um, nice. And then what was the last one? Oh, uh, Gotham City Misfits, where I played as Kite Man. Hell yeah. Kite, kite Man. Kite Man. Okay, wow. So what is Kite Man's powers? He has a kite. He has a really big kite that he made. And delusions yeah. of grandeur. I see. He was made by the Riddler. He deserves those uh, delusions. He was made by the Riddler. Uh, yep. I'm not going to get too deep into it, but in the comics, Kite Man was created because the Riddler basically was at war with the Joker, and he wanted to prove that he could turn like a regular guy into a supervillain and did, and basically mess with this whole guy's life until uh, he uh, until he snapped and became Kite Man. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> raining down his... Kite vengeance on anybody up top that Windy Hill. I got to, I got to run into people with my kite. <laughs> <laughs> you got to run away from parademons. I got to run away, I got to run away from parademons. That part was a little on accident. I got on a train. I didn't know the train was just going to take off without any without any commands. And I was trapped on the train. I love it. Uh, SC Terran Marine says, "Glad y'all had an awesome time." And we did. Thank you, really SC Terran Marine. Uh, yeah, the the waning moments of the program or the show today, rather, and uh, we've got a couple hours left. But uh, yeah, a, a, a couple hours left. I can't believe we sold out of the expanse. Yeah, we've got some great deals for M and M at the booth. I'm trying to think of other things that we've got cooking here. Um, yeah, there's a deal on Sentinels of the of Earth Prime. If you buy all the Sentinels of Earth Prime, you get 20 percent off. Yes, that's right. Yeah, uh, that includes uh, all of the. You get all of that. I think it's. I think it's like a. It's a pretty significant it's discount. Like, it's like sixty dollars. So, sixty bucks. Somewhere yeah. in there. Yeah. Sixty-four dollars, maybe. Something. We're not mathematologists, but there's there's beautiful uh, reprinted copies of the Deluxe Heroes Handbook and Power Profiles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We have two more copies of Power Profiles, and they were sold out. Two remain. Nice. So come yeah. get them. Yeah, we brought a stack. You better come get them. Um, and Somebody then, come get her. Oh no, of course we come. <laughs> I was going to start singing that, but I'm not going to. Um, fifth season, of course, if uh, you're, you come to the booth and you uh, pre-order fifth season, you get the printed uh, quick start 
for free. For free. Yeah. Nice. Pretty awesome. Okay, so do you have other plans, Cohen? Are you you're done with all your games now, right? I'm not running any more games until Wednesday. Now, total games you ran? Six. Six games. Yeah, and I played in one. Three hours each. Four hours each. Four hours. Except for the one that was five. So six games, four hours each, plus an hour for the other. That is that's a lot of games. It's Twenty-five hours. Yeah. In four days. That's well, a, four and a half. Four days. Four days. They didn't do anything today. Right. Right. Yeah. That's that's a, a pretty intensive schedule. Now, did you? Um, I ran more hours of games than I slept this week. I was you're also gonna gonna you're say, also doing you're also pulling booth duty. Yeah. Yeah. You were yeah. Booth duties. Um, I also want to give a huge shout out to um, our buddy. One second. It's uh, Joe Nolan. Joe Nolan. Uh, I'm looking at his uh, list right now. Joe said. 144 total player hours of green running games from him. So that's like, you know, each of them playing four to five hours yeah. in the games that he ran. That is significant. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's really cool. So uh, thank you, Joe. You are an absolute rock star. Uh, these games are all, or these conventions are always fun. But the other thing that we did, and this is just, and I know this is kind of crossing the streams a little bit, but, you know, uh, Mutants and Masterminds is included in the Freebooter kind of opportunity is we're yeah. going to reconvene uh, Freebooters. We're going to sit down and have some smaller meetings and then sort of plan out and plot out uh, what's to come for Freebooting it. And, yeah. uh, and if that's you, uh, send a note to let's play at greenrunning.com. We're going to, we're starting our meetings literally next week. So tomorrow's yeah. Monday. That's when it begins. We really want to show up and show out for Gen Con next year. Yeah. Well, and also we've got plenty of big and little events. I think that we just want to make sure. Folks have what they need, the tools yeah. and things to share and show and yeah. play and lead. And uh, and so we're we're retooling that whole program. Looking forward to it. Troy and I talked about doing some con kits with GMs who are running yes, stuff. Yes, and yes, like sir. Resources like table tent templates and adventure outlines. Yeah. Maybe some art handouts and character sheets for the Freedom Week, things yeah, like that. Yeah, we're talking like a real physical, with, with the digital component as well. Yeah. But, you but know, like if you want a box of stuff that you can be like, I've got an adventure, I've got these characters, I, that's all the that's all you have to worry about. All you game. need is, yeah, all you all need, need is you and that up. kit and show up. And, uh, and even file availability is to even print your own, you know. Yeah, yeah. The other thing that we're looking into as well, um, and again, this is for people who are uh, uh, Mamo fans, um, we're, we're looking at... Uh, doing some live events, um, you know, bringing Moom Ammo to conventions all over the place, as well as setting it up so that when our freebooters attend a convention, that the convention is well aware and can kind of treat them as special guests, mm -hmm. running events and those sorts of things. And, you know, Alex, I know you, you attend a lot of conventions where you're a special guest. Like, yep. we could uh, att attach a, an attache of folks to you and uh, they can help run games and yeah. uh, and have then some I fun. can do fun stuff like panels and show up and bother you while you're running your game exactly right that's exactly right uh, warden Maximus says this sounds great well, yeah I'm glad that you're excited about it warden I think that we are uh, we're right on the cusp of really amplifying all of that and uh, so and of course anybody who is listening and you're like hey I've always wanted to be able to run an age game or I've always wanted to be able to run these masterminds <laughs> now's your time we're getting together to plan it all out so your voice will be a big part of that process yeah. Don't you want to be one of the founding members of the Freebooter League? Yeah, yeah, the, the, the Freebooter Re League. Yeah. We, we're going to change it to the Rebooters. No, I'm kidding. It's the, the Rebooters. The re <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> we won't. Oh, no, it's Crisis on Infinite Freeboot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. <exactly. laughs> um, <I'm is>, <laughs> Temp asks, is Valiant being played at your part of Gen Con? Uh, no, not yet. Um, Steve and I are still working on the Valiant rules, so there wasn't real, they're not really ready yet for prime time. Um, Hopefully next year we'll run some Valiant stuff. Yeah. Good. yeah. Yeah. And then I think, too, on the move up, too, we'll have lots of folks who are on the Patreon testing some of those. Yes. I think we already released a little bit of it. Yes, we released the healing uh, regeneration rules and how damage works in the Valiant system. Yeah. By default. There are, there's optional rules. You can swap it out however you want. But our goal is to make, is our goal is to simulate how gritty and sort of damaging valiant fighting can be in yeah. a way that other Mutants and Masterminds games traditionally aren't. Right. And that, it, also an exciting time to be a freebooter because if we're going to be running things at shows, you get a chance to kind of do that Valiant stuff, early look style. And to make it even more gritty, we're going to include just a little bit of sand that you can throw in people's faces mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, get it in their yeah. eyes. The uh, Green Running branded pocket sand. Yes. They've, been, they've been doing a test on me. It's been, it's yeah. been rough. I mean, yeah. It's been hard to get gritty. past the glasses. It was really fun. nice of Elon Musk to donate those emeralds you stole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know the chaos emeralds? Yeah, we ground yes. them up. We made some sand. 
Yeah, sharp. Yep. Sticky. Sticky, <laughs> scratchy. Um, yeah, so, you know, Sticky jokes Sticky emerald sand sounds like the worst experience ever. It really does. It just honestly, my eyes are watering thinking about it. Um, and that's, that's something, given that my eyes are all just water. Um, okay, well, so other things that we are want to share. Are your eyes water or mist? Well, what's mist? Or is mist water? Um, is, my, is mist made of eyeball jelly considered water? Eyeball juice. I stand here in awe of the fact that he can operate a computer without it just shorting out. So. Right. Yeah. I, don't, yeah. I don't question too much. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I donated my computer for this. So. Yes, yeah. Well, I, I'm sure my signature uh, goop moisture. Gravy. <laughs> gravy. I love it. Um, gravy cloud. I will say I saw the gravy costume. Yes. Uh, it was a it was a shock. It, <laughs> <laughs> he did walk out unexpectedly wearing it, which I I didn't know. He struck a pose. I, I, don't, know how react, I don't know how he react to a, to a mist wearing a gravy suit, but I don't know if I did it right. I didn't wear it. I wasn't me. I wasn't now, even there. Now Troy did say he was going to leave it in my bed with all of his clothes in it. <laughs> I really wanted for a disembodied to. cloud. He owns a significant amount of clothes. I do. I really do. Yeah. yeah. Given that he also lost my luggage, tried to buy a whole new. Suit. And of clothing. I love. Here's what you need to know about Troy. Troy was given money to buy new clothes, and he bought a Hello Kitty T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I will accept no judgment. There's no need you're, for. You're judgment. really seeing how the sausage is made. Here. Wonderful. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, it, it has been a, a real ton of fun. I'm actually trying to see. I'm gonna. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break for our sponsor. Um, hold for just a moment as I play that right for you right now. Oh, Lord, he coming. Great response. It's in the woods. It's not happy. That's what he doesn't know about this show. Today's show is brought to you by Gravy Squash for when you need orthotics but you don't want to pay for custom shoes. That's right, but you want a nice warm shoe of lumpy gravy. Yes. Hey, that's uh, that's clothes and a meal all in one. So it really is, and it's good for you too. Um, okay, so uh, enough shenanigans. Enough. Enough uh, shenanigans. Yeah. All right, we got nothing left then. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's, we got an hour and a half of shenanigans. That's all we have is shenanigans. Um, do we have anything else we'd like to share about the show, about upcoming projects, about uh, RC? Do you have anything that you want to talk about as far as things that are cooking in the background for you? No. no I'm just um, <laughs> so currently, we're in the process of finalizing uh, a new mini season in between our uh, Masks and Mayhem main seasons. Uh, we're calling this mini season the Redacted Rangers, a series of villains that have been conscripted by the government to do different tasks. A very, a very original idea. No one's ever heard of something like that. I'm, I'm really glad we're on the ground floor. Um, <laughs> you really, yeah, you're blown away. But uh, we were able to get Alex and Troy to join us. Alex reprising his role as Beowulf Odin's son from previous episodes. Uh, Troy as Pintar, the alien from Celtron 3, along with a cast of other guests and a few of the uh, Masked and Mayhem team, uh, Brandon. Uh, one of Brandon, Pope Brandon Brownson, uh, doing the GMing for that. And uh, yeah, we're just about done recording it, and then we're working on editing it. We'll have that out hopefully pretty soon. Absolute delight. Uh, so much fun. Everybody is a blast to play with. And, you know, our, our particular session, I think, lasted a little longer than anticipated, <laughs> but it's been fun. There's been some technical difficulties that have uh, elongated some things. A lot of uh, overacting from me. I guess I didn't realize that we weren't really doing uh, monologues. You know, Troy, when you chew on the scenery, you're supposed to avoid the wires that run the internet. Oopsie poops. <laughs> awesome. Um, Alex, how about you? You want to talk about what anything coming up? Um, um, I just want to say thank you to anybody who came to the booth, who played in any of our games, who stopped by to say hi, who um, really just came and made this convention everything as special as it could be. Um, you know, we really, this is why we do it. It's great to be able to interface with the public in person, to be able to see people's excitement when they roll a natural 20 or see them really jazzed to get into a new game or you know their group comes over and they're like we've been playing m m for years and we love it that's that really energizes us and it's really you know it's great to it's great to see you know we get that every week with you here on Mutants and masterminds monday but there's just something about seeing people's faces when they're excited about it yeah i'm very happy it's a, my, my first gen con ever um, so that's I didn't been really realize cool. that. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. So that's been really special to get to hang out with, hang out with these guys and 
you know, see, I've, I've, uh, it's the biggest convention I've ever been to by far. 85,000 people this year, and my understanding that's... that's uh, Many humans. Yeah, yeah. There were many of them. Yeah. Might be one Most of the, of the ones I've met delightful. Actually, all the ones I've met are delightful, you know. Sometimes when you're all crammed in, it's a little less delightful. That's not on them. No, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, but you wouldn't understand being incorporeal, but no, it's, yeah, it's a problem. So I just missed up, and they uh, yeah, leave my skin suit a puddle on the ground, and uh, away I go. Yeah. Um, okay, it's well, really hard getting the shoe marks out of the skin suits with the iron. It is, but you are so good, and I'm glad that you helped me out with that. Um, well, you know what was handy is you had elbow grease on your elbows on the skin suit. I did, so you just sort of grow. Just take a little bit. Just then you iron that out. Juice it up, iron Go it ahead. out. A little bit of Windex, a little bit of uh, cologne. Windex, the forbidden juice. The forbidden juice. Um, I didn't like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ward Maximus, I, I appreciate it. Ward Maximus says, don't step on the skin suit, people. Yeah. this, you know, it, They're very expensive. Yeah, they really are. They really are. They don't and cost a lot of money, but there's a lot of labor that's involved. Uh, they, there's a lot of like emotional expense. Yeah, you got to kill a guy, you got to hollow him out. You yeah, exactly. You can never get the same manufacturer to do it twice. So you have to find a new one every time. That's right. Yeah, yeah exactly. By the end of it, they're very horrified. <laughs> they are quite horrified, <laughs> and uh, their their brains must be wiped. Um, speaking of wiping brains, we're going to go ahead and uh, nice segue to head out. Um, and, oh, importantly, uh, we will not yes. be here for Mutants Masterminds Monday tomorrow. Yes, absolutely. We will be right. in an airplane. And I will be traversing the long, flat purgatory that is Indiana. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Using yeah. Indiana as an excuse. I see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, well, and, you know, we might need a couple of days as well just to see if we got any con crud. Mm-hmm. It doesn't really develop sometimes until... Uh, yeah. I actually have to go into the Kenton sleep when I get back to Valhalla. So. You know what, Pook? That is really interesting unless you find twins. I... I, that's, that's true. Very economical. That's a BOGO sale for you. That's a BOGO. That's right. That's right. I love a BOGO. I do too. I mean, if you have any other disembodied friends, you know, we could maybe make a skin suit, you know, for you. And then we just, you know, have I'm them. I'm just not suits. that close to anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm it's hard to get really close when you can't, you know, reach out. Maybe no. emotionally. <laughs> yeah. I'm emotionally distant. Uh, all right. Well, thank you everybody for hanging out and, uh, um, and you know, all week for your support. Really, really dig it. And I double down on what Alex said. We just really appreciate it all. It's a lot of fun. It's very energizing. I know it's kept your battery going for yeah more, sh- more uh, longer than it should have. TTRPG <laughs> play than sleep. Um, yes. Yeah, it's pretty fun. RC, thanks for stopping by and hanging out. Thanks for having me on. You've been a great roomie. And we will uh, see you all. I'll give you more information as uh, uh, on the pending uh, Redacted Rangers. And uh, until then, take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Where's my end button? We're still going. It's up there in the corner. Ah-ha.